Hi everyone and welcome to your fourth C++ programming tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you about the if and else statement and what this does is it performs a check on different things that you enter into it and if something's true from that check it will run a bit of code and if it's false it will run some code as well. So to start off with the if statement you'll type if and then two brackets and inside them you'll type the check that you want to do. So um, let's suppose that we have an integer here called num1 or set it equal to 10 and we'll create another one called num2 or set it equal to 20. And now in the if statement we'll say if num1 is less than num2 will run some code and so to do that you write if num1 is less than num2 and then two curly braces and then within those curly braces is what you'll type what you want to happen if that check is true so if that's true we'll want to display true and um, if we want it to be false you create the else statement and that's done in the same way except you type else instead of if and then your curly brackets and we'll display false so if we just run this program and we've hopefully got no errors yep yeah, and it's true because obviously 10 is less than 20 and uh, we can change any, this to any math sign here change it to greater than and we should get false and if we change it to is equal to so double equals it should also be false right so um, we can also very easily change this so it runs off user input so if we change this so these aren't equal to anything and now say enter a message saying enter num1 and end the line and uh, then get the user input for num1 then we'll do the same for num2 so enter num2 and then input for num2 so now hopefully again we'll have no errors and we enter num1 so let's say 10 again enter num2 20 and we get false because we said if num1 is equal to num2 then we'll, we'll say false because obviously 10 isn't equal to 20 and if we run it, run it again to check that the true code works by 20 is equal to 20 and it's true and uh, you can change these obviously to strings or any other type of variable and this is very useful to um, do so you can check if two things that the user's done are the same in programs and it's really helpful when coding so thanks for watching please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video